right, this lesson is for fourth grade lesson four. Um, today we learned about expanded form and also word form. So this is just a review of what expanded form is. Expanded form is when you add all the place values together. So here's my example. I have 250,941 and I'm going to show you what this looks like in expanded form. So we're going to start all the way to the left. This two is in the hundred thousands range. So I know that this is going to equal 200,000. And now I'm going to add it to my next place value, which is in the 10 thousands range. So this five equals 50,000. And then I'm going to go on to the next one, but that looks like it's a zero, which means there are no thousands in this number. So I get to skip it. I'm going to go on to the next place value right here. This is a nine and it's in the hundreds place value. So this equals a 900 plus my next place value is in the tens digit. So this four is worth 40 and then plus my last digit, which is in the ones and it's a one. So just plus one. And this is your answer for if it asks you to put your number in expanded form, they want it all written out like that in an addition problem. Okay. And if they ask for it in word form, you are going to be writing it out in words. So I would say 250,000, 941. And that's how you write it in word form. So let me do one example from your homework. We're going to do the first one here. They wanted you to label the units. And remember, when we're in a place value chart, we start over here at our ones because we're not going to use all of these squares. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. 10,000s. Okay? And I'm going to write the numbers where they need to be. So this is a 3, the 2, the 5, 0, and 9. And if you look at this number and this number, they are in the same order. Okay? Now they would like us to write it in word form, and that's when we look over here. Now when 9, when it's in the 10,000 range, it looks like 90. So we go 90, and there is no 1,000, so it's not 92 or 93, it's just 90. And then we put 1,000, okay? The number that's in the hundreds place is a fifth, or 5, so it's a 500. The number that's in the tens place is a two, and that's 20. And the one that's in the ones place is a three, so this number is 23. And that's how you write it in word form. And then expanded form, as we did earlier, we're gonna start with this. This is in the 10 thousands range, so I know that this is 90,000. And then I'm going to add my thousands place, but it's a zero. So I get to skip that one and go straight to the hundreds place, which is in, which is a five. So that is the 500. And then my two is in the tens place. So that is a 20. And then my three is in the ones place. So that is a three. And that is how you write it in expanded form. Now you have a chart on the back of your paper that looks very similar to this. 
where they give you one of each of these columns and you have to figure out the rest. Well, if you look here, it says in word form it's 2,480. Standard form is what it looks like in a number, if you see that one right there. So you're going to take the words 2,480 and put it into standard form, which is writing it as a number. And then you're going to also write it as expanded form. If they give you expanded form, you then have to take this, make it into word form, and then of course your standard form. And then if they give you standard form, you have to put it into word and expanded form. Okay, using the examples that I gave you before and the front of the page, this shouldn't be too difficult, um, but just make sure that you look at your notes to help you out. All right, thank you. I hope this helps.